Well, the suspect accused of killing four people and injuring two others in a Renton crash had his bail reduced today by 90 percent. Several community members took to social media to share their concerns about the decision. Thanks for being here at 7 o'clock. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. His bond was originally set at $1 million, but when the suspect made his first court appearance yesterday, the judge reduced it to just $100,000. King 5's Connor Board shares why the judge made that decision. I'm aware that these sort of trials can last for a really long time. His uh, arms and legs will heal, and then he'll be basically free after release, after allegedly killing four people. And that doesn't seem right to me. The parents of 12-year-old Buster Brown, as well as the parents of 12- and 13-year-old Matilda and Eloise Wilcoxon, say they want 18-year-old Chase Jones to heal and grow, but they also say he needs to be held accountable for the crash that killed their children and 38-year-old Andrea Hudson. I want the best for Chase, and I also want the best for the safety of our our community. Jones appeared in court yesterday from his hospital bed. He's accused of driving more than 100 miles an hour and running a red light before crashing into a minivan and killing four people and injuring two others inside. Do you have a very serious concern about whether there will be future reckless or harmful behavior that will hurt other people? King County Judge Johanna Bender reduced the original bail she set of $1 million to $100,000. Former Pierce County Judge Brian Tollefson says defendants have a right to post bail in most cases. The only time that you don't grant pretrial release on personal recognizance is if there is a failure to appear or a likelihood of failure to appear or there is a likelihood of interference with uh, witnesses or a likelihood that the person will commit uh, a violent crime. The judge in this case says she wants to give the suspect's family the opportunity to post bail so the parents can visit their son in the hospital. She also said due to the extent of his injuries, he is less of a safety risk, and she has no reason to believe he will not show up to court. Tollefson said judges must look at each case individually and have wide discretion with setting bail. The court rule tells the judge that you aren't supposed to have any blanket policies that you have to consider each uh, pretrial release decision on an on a facts of that particular case that the judge is aware of and made aware of. If Jones posts bail and is released from the hospital, he'll be put on electronic home monitoring and he's forbidden from driving anything, including cars, bikes, and skateboards. In the newsroom, Connor Board, King 5 News.